Hello my friends and welcome back. It is episode 34 of Troubleshooter. <clears throat> it's time for the Iron Forest Distribution Camp. This is a violent case, so this potentially could be a very long mission. I'm only taking four out of eight team members, apparently. <clears throat> I might play a bit cautiously instead of just plowing in, we'll see. We shall see. Do, do, do. This has taken ages to load, which means it's probably an enormous map. <clears throat> Spoonism has now been recognized as an anti-government group. Some expected this to lead to massive suppression of the Spoonists. However, Isaac received a one-month suspension. That means the much-needed position of Site Commander is vacant. Of course, they quickly looked for a substitute, but the officers who saw the inspector being reprimanded at the front lines of the site gave excuses in order to reject taking the head position. Wow. That's what you get, to be fair. I mean, the guy was just doing the right thing. Do not call a backup. 60% of people went for this. Well, this is the lowest picked choice. Alright. Good old infighting. Patron made me do it! What's their troubleshooter rank? At least gold, right? Bronze. What? Bronze? <laughs> Not even silver, bronze. <laughs> you lost to a bronze rank troubleshooter. Black Pearl and Arwal. Guess respected troubleshooter companies. Oh, team is a coming. I don't mind if the team has attack. They've got masteries. This is the police. I do like the little touches, like, you know, whenever you start with the police, you have a uh, couple of, you know, SWAT vehicles that come along. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Okay, that's a wall. And that's a wall. And that is a fence. Although, you could probably go that way. But, let's just plow forward. I guess we're done. Let's make this happen. <clears throat> it's 
Let's put the police on cautious for now. Go, go, go! Run, Medkit, run! <laughs> Adorable Medkit. All right, boys. Oh, yeah, look. There's definitely dudes ahead. These guys have no idea that they have an army of police crawling up on them right now. Oh, he moved. <laughs> wow, 14 EXP, that guy sucks. You got a shot from there? Go, Unfortunately go, go. not. Run and run! I guess. Wow, there's actually loads of time until they arrive. Oh, he blocked! <laughs> then he bled to death! Oh, that couldn't have gone any better for me since responsibility triggered pushing me up the turn order. Kick him in the face! Let's go for the cover position. It must cause you suck! Okay, that's not entirely fair. I knew that was gonna miss, but that puts me in a great position. And, once again, when he misses, responsibility <laughs> triggers, which pushes him up the queue. Super usefully. <clears throat> Sorry, dude. Can't escape being in check. You know, in theory, you could just waste time until the team has turned up and then have them eat the spoonists. Okay. Got a hit from there. The AI is definitely different based on the unit. I have noticed. The uh, suppressors are definitely a lot more cautious than the uh, 
strikers. It's a nice cover position there. Let's go. <laughs> I read mean, is so stupid. Oh man. If there's just one dude there, there's nothing go, wrong with go, me go. being out in the open. Pajara. KO. Level up. <clears throat> Kick him in the face! Stop being such a baby. Oh. He tried to get out of check. That was his first mistake. You cannot escape the forestallment. <clears throat> Once you're caught in the aura of someone with forestallment, you have to just fight them to the death. Unless you are strong enough to tank, tank it. Oh, for justice! For Patriot City! Mystery Panzer Violence! <laughs> he blocked it and he still died. <laughs> so powerful. <laughs> Man, that's... Uh, that's not like Albus to miss having not moved. Oh, 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 nice. Stop resisting! Wow, these police officers seem to actually be reasonably high level. He requested backup and then he ran away. <laughs> what filth? Lol. Well, now that's annoying. Oh, he survived. Hopefully the police can finish him. There we go. I didn't want that guy just behind me being a pain in my ass. Actually, quite nice to have a group of suppressors just cleaning up the trash okay, behind you. Uh, 
Yes, I missed it twice and then got stunned. Man, what is going on with you today? Nice. <laughs> I am angry. <laughs> you don't sound angry. <laughs> Ooh, nearly. Go on, get him, get him, get him. Nice. <laughs> it's almost like more fun to cheer the police along than it is to actually play the game sometimes. Gone. Alright. Go and secure his safety. I really hate that saying. It's like really, really irritating. <laughs> I don't know why, it's something about it that annoys me. Oh, nice shooting. God damn. Nice. More items and masteries for a whole three hours. Perfect to sit down and binge the game. Wow, that was a good shot too. Mop your jail parameter. <sighs> the police's confidence must improve when they have the little med kit along for the journey. I don't think there's anything here. Unfortunately, I'm all out of vigor. And this is how I feel. Hero mode is not activated. She's not far enough away from the rest of the team. Okay, didn't get him, but he is in check now. Get some! Oh, she missed! That's unusual. Justice never backs out. Kick him. Oh, she went for the stun run. Okay. <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> I will kill that man. 
bet the police go for him now. Yep. Instant justice. <laughs> that's like that's like the most realistic thing you can imagine, isn't it? Like you have a you have a child on the team because she's uh got very rare healing power, and she is just there to be at the back to heal the injured, and then she gets attacked, and the first thing the police do is dogpile the guy. <laughs> Right, I need to reposition to actually uh, catch everybody in this. That needs healing. Boom! He is very close to actually uh, having his ultimate as well. Oh, that was a nice shot. See if I can push up with her to trigger her hero status. Oh! We have found Ralph the Fine Blade! Oh, he blocked it, but it still hurt. A lot. Oh! Break your chain. Oh. oh, the hero is toast. I was not expecting to waddle into the boss. Unfortunately, this is why Irene is actually not the greatest counter-attacker slash melee character. She's much easier to damage than Albus is. I mean, there is some question of her needing better gear and better masteries, but even so, she is just statistically more of an offensive character than a defensive one. Hello, buddy. Oh, I guess the old Broly didn't help this time. Oh, nice hit. Man, it's like there's an infinite supply of them over the side of that ridge. Nice. 
목표로 이동하겠습니다. Let's get the Owen Vale on. 자, 바람을 일으켜 봅시다. It's time to get on the owl bus. the other boss. Oh, he's down there. Okay. Hungry! Oh, he blocked it. Where's he going? Oh! That's not good. That's thanks to him blocking my ultimate. He had to block it. If it had missed, it wouldn't have triggered that. I gotta get in there and actually kill that guy. Bleed, boy, bleed. You know what, I'm probably better off just uh, waiting for him to move. It sort of reminds me of Battletech in that when you start, when you fail to get kills, the enemy builds up and there's just more and more and more of them. The situation starts to get out of control. Uh, why was he able to just... Okay. <laughs> I'm like, why was he able to just get off the Albus? He wasn't. <laughs> Nice. Ah, 
I'd run into cover here, but it actually doesn't help me. None of the enemies that are left are actually ranged, apart from this one dude over here. What helps me is getting rid of these two. <laughs> Nice. All right, let's go and put this guy in check, shall we? You don't be on. Come on, boys. So you'll note here that basically all the damage that was done to me was done by the bosses. The boss took out Irene. The boss took out Anne. You know, the rest of the trash is just kind of like there to just frustrate you. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, nearly. Oh, impulse field, save me. I don't need that guy just picking away at me from up there. Damn. Oh, I should have taken him out. I didn't even see that guy. So that's three characters I've lost and all of them to the two bosses. Man, the teamers are actually a huge problem now because, uh. Oh, she on here is not good against them. Africa. Yahoo! Yay! Nice. Mokyo, Tego Hayasuda. Okay. Ah, uh, well, there's certainly a couple of dudes over there. 
think it's the same two dudes though. You don't have that. Everyone's doing vigor restorations right now. Nega Bonjada. Some Guang Nang. Okay. Okay. Right, let's go ahead and get rid of this jammer, shall we? I'll also grab that medical box while I'm at it. Oh, wow. 60 down the turn order, just like that. <clears throat> I thought this area had been cleared because it had been triggered by Irene, but I guess not. Of course, he's stunned, he can't dodge, and they've pushed him so far down the tone order that he'll actually never get another go. We are basically dead unless we find the jammers. I think we're dead, but we shall try. And I just have to restart the mission from uh, from a different point. I mean, we, we killed like two bosses and probably about 30 guys and there's still loads on the map. Run, you fool! Okay, he hadn't actually spotted me, but he moved to trigger himself. Wrong! You don't want me to. It's gonna be dinner time soon. So I guess I want to go down. Uh. 
Um, hmm. I have no idea where the jammers are. Except the one that I killed. I'd be highly entertained if the dogs turned up and ate all these guys while I ran around with a single police officer looking for the jammer. Oof, oh he dead. Stunned. Unless the stun clears right now. No. <clears throat> Vision mailed. There's only two settings for missions. Terrible and, and uh, excellent. Wow, he actually dropped some uh, rare gear. Item lost, item lost. Uh, oh well, who cares. We actually have to return to restore our motivation before trying again. But we did actually get all the items, so that's nice. <clears throat> I just, I lost characters to bosses. Impulse Fields would have saved uh, Anne, but she hasn't got it yet. That's something I should equip at some point. To be honest, Impulse Fields would have saved Irene as well. Impulse Fields actually did save... Uh, um, Albus once. Okay, well, anyway, we got some good gear out of it. Or at least one, one piece of good gear. Let's see... 8 speed is pretty huge. I don't know if this is a huge improvement, to be honest. 14% loss of dodge chance is actually pretty massive. Let's go for it, just for the speed increase, because he's already got quite a lot of speed. Ninety-eight speed. Usual action time is fifty-four. That's fast. Okay, I think uh, there's not much else to do here with this stuff.
Hmm, speed and hit chance. Speed and hit chance in exchange for a minor loss in other categories. Healing can't miss, so crit chance and crit damage is actually more important. Since heals can crit. Alright. Alright, let's get ready. We'll hit the mission again. We'll just play it more cautiously. The light meal man, it fixes everything. Yeah, now to be fair, the violent cases are usually extremely difficult. Still not in a position where I'm far enough down the story to uh, uh, build proper gear. Okay, one thing that we will do before we finish up here is uh, we'll go to Shooter Street quickly. And we'll go and grab the skins that I need. Unfortunately, the crafting system is just going to be locked behind Obsidans for ages. Not necessarily for ages, but for a while. I haven't found any masteries in this game that prevents the uh, enemy from pushing you down the turn order. That's the only reason why the game is hard. Well, I should say it's the only reason why the game becomes hard. Is if you've got, you know, 30 blokes pushing you down the turn order. Then, uh... Then there's nothing you can do except just stand there. Uh, yeah, no one cares. Could do that uninvited guest in the cargo mission. I need some of these, and I need some of these, and I need some of these. Which you can get by just killing monsters in the appropriate mission. But uh, we haven't unlocked the, um, the appropriate mission yet. seen this before, so let's skip it. I wouldn't mind having that either. Being immune to fire is actually super useful for Albus. I think he's the one that's weak to fire in particular.
Okay, let's go to a workbench quickly. So, if I go to item crafting. Okay, now I can actually make. So you see here, now we're uh, now we're looking at the good stuff, <laughs> and the good stuff. Like I, I am not deceiving you when I say that the good stuff is way better than the stuff that you can make right now, which is why I've been plowing my way through the game. The actual set stuff is amazingly better than uh, than the standard stuff. To unlock it, we need two monster skins, which I think we can just make. Monster skin. Requires savage beast skin and green fragment. I need some green dust, I can get that from some chipped primal green. This is going to be a, a complete faff, but anyway. Okay, green fragment I can get from uh, either forging dust into it or um, oh, that's green element. Green fragment. Okay. There's my necessary monster skins. Now. Uh, let's kill this. Search term. Alright. Now, these are a level 30 equipments, so this is where we're sort of supposed to be at. You can see the stats on them are enormous. I could almost make this if I had one of these. I think that's a purchasable. This is just kind of very expensive way to burn money. No, you can buy the standard ones, which you could probably forge into a big one, but it would be... It would be a huge waste of money. But the jackets I just made will uh, be at least a defensive upgrade for everybody. The Negroni uh, Lightning set is really good. By the way, things that you've just made, you actually have to identify, which is weird. You made it, but you still have to identify it. Womp. Well. 
So here you can immediately see the difference. An extra 170 HP, a loss of 40 in resistances and 22 in general resistance, so take 60 more damage from element users, but 50 more armor. To be fair, Earth Resistance is his worst resistance by miles anyway, so this actually works out. This is just a basic forged item as well. I mean, they get better. She uses track suits, which I haven't made. She uses shrouds, which I also haven't made. Okay. So, yeah. This... You know, just to drive home the point here, these these two items can be picked off of monsters when we start fighting them. Um, but yeah, as you push up the system, you start unlocking some really nice, really rare stuff with high level requirements, and that's where you want to be. But, in order to get there, we need to get our hands on Obsidans to unlock the weapon tree. And uh, Yasha skins to uh, unlock most of the rest of the... Uh, um, armor tree. As I said before, the stuff that you can make is way better than the stuff that you can find. From what I've seen of the game, anyway. Right, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.